Today, I'll teach you how to color your hair. Here are several things you'll need. Gloves, color applicator, activating lotion, hair clip, and three different hair dyes that are close in color. First, you want to put gloves on to protect the skin from the dye. The first color I'm using is 5N, which stands for natural brown. Open the tube and squeeze it inside the color applicator. Now I'm going to use the second hair dye in a color 5G, which stands for light golden brown. This one also goes into the color applicator. Both dyes add up to about one ounce. Now I'm going to add the activating lotion at one to two ratio. For one ounce of the dye, I'm going to add two ounces of activating lotion for a total of three ounces. I'm going to shake the mixture for 30 seconds until it's the same color and now I'm ready to dye my hair. Applying hair color is super easy. First, I'm going to brush out my hair to make sure the dye goes on evenly. Next, I'm going to section my hair, clipping the top part and bringing the unclipped hair to the front. Pour the dye into the palm of your hand and then rub it into the hair. You can also pour the dye directly into your hair. Here's me doing the other side. Once I'm done doing the section of my hair, I bring it to the back. And now I'm going to repeat the process of sectioning off my hair. Now, it's time for the roots. First, I'm going to use the color in 4N and pour it into the bottle. Next, I'm using color in 5N, which is light natural brown. The last color I'm using is 5G, which is light golden brown. Next, I'm adding the activating lotion in 1 to 2 ratio. Unclip the hair and start pouring the mixture on top of the roots. In the front, make sure to get as close to the root as possible without dyeing your face. Now make rows with the applicator and pour the mixture into the hair. Now do the same thing with the back of the head. Repeat the process making sure all of the hair is saturated. Clip the hair up and wait 20 minutes before rinsing out your hair. And here's the finished product. I hope you enjoyed the video and thank you for watching.